Hello all, greetings my friends, this is Gilles, I wanted to uh, wish you a good day and talk about a few things about this transcendental psychology, the spiritual school of non-being, which is my first and original um, initiator in this ascension process, for what we seek is to become a higher self, to become, to go into this feeling state of life, to go into the, the good feeling state of life, the feeling that brings you up to the spiral of life. And so for that, we need to become master of ourselves. How do we become master of ourselves? For, for, for us to be master of ourselves, it means that we can also be slave of ourselves. It's a subject that's discussed by, by Plato in the Republic. I recommend this book. It's a big book, but it's a very, very beautiful book, where Socrates explains that the, the soul has two parts, a light part and a dark part, and when the, the light part is dominant, we are master of ourselves. When it is the darkest part, that uh, that is our shadow aspect that is dominant, we become slave of ourselves, and so we want to become master of ourselves. We want to become master of our thoughts, or our emotion, or our physical, or our behavior, or of us, uh, and, 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 and situation will repeat in the outside world until we get the lessons. It's like whenever there is triggers, things that are being triggered by the outside world, it means there is something that needs to be resolved within. And so this will lead us to, uh, to, to the state of mastery, for, for everything is an opportunity given by, by God uh, that um, to, to, so, so that we, we can grow and, and evolve. Huh? Uh, also wanted to say that whenever you, no matter what the situation is, sometimes it's not easy to understand that. But uh, other beings, every other being, every other human being, let's say, on the earth, uh, they, they may do some things that we like or that we do not like, but, but they have God within them, they are beloved children of God. And, and if you let go of all that is, mostly about the negative things that could be happening in the world, you let go of the surface things that is going on and you you reach that that understanding of that that divine god spark inside every living being you will see the soul will become more friendly there will be a communication and and, and then there will be a re-establishment of that um, of, of a new frequency uh, in, in in terms of relationships so um for, for god was god before the universe god was there was stillness before the universe god was stillness even before the creation of spirit for god has always been stillness it is his stillness his immobility that makes him uh, that makes him immortal eternal and then uh, it is through the, the his, his transmutability that he, he continue to exist and evolve and grow eternally outside of of paradise but um but understand that the stillness of God is our salvation, to fuse in with the stillness of God. For what we seek is to still our mind within a shifting world of time and space, but that's not easy. But, but yet the, the, the stillness of God can, can find re refuge within that stillness of God. And, um, and because this world has been illuminated by a false light, these seven rainbow colors are false light. They, they are blinding us to the truth, the true light of God. They are they're creating separation and division and so on. And so, um, so we want to let go of all the illusions of the world and find the refuge in the glorious light of God, in the in in, in the dawn of that beautiful era of, of light and life that is will be coming, um, that is already for for whenever we we don't need to wait for the collective to reach any state in, in physical in, in spirituality to reach it for ourselves, and so. Um, for it is the love and light of God. They are immortal. They are eternal. They are. They, 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 nothing can ever touch the truth of God. Nothing, God, God is beyond any of that. Those, those shifting energy, and so, so there is really nothing to fear. But just to love and, and love and light to unify with that. That love of source is the is the portal. We also want to let go of the idea that there may be two realities, that there is the reality of the physical world that is contrasted and dualistic, and the reality of the inner world that is unified and loving. We, for we want we want eventually to to to, real, to to let go of that idea that there may be uh, there may be an outside world with uh, dualism. We want to move into the total state of unity. Once we reach that frequency, the world will have to adapt for people for other people or other you. This is just other versions of you at different level of evolution learning different different um, cycle during going through the different lessons from the darkest to the lightest or the highest 
And so we want to let go of those two realities and move. Uh, uh, fi finding God is our only only goal in, in essence. Once we find that, we've, we've, we've got it all. And so some people will not awaken to that understanding, but uh, we want to stay honest and cultivate the desire to return to love, return to God, to look at ourselves, to forgive ourselves and others. For it, it is nearly impossible to find this state of ascension of peace and love and joy if we are angry towards ourselves or towards others so we do want to solve those energies we want to wrap them in uh, in blankets of, uh, of, of, of uh, a pink light or uh, you can always send pink light or violet light those are very useful through your intention otherwise we feel like we may be trapped in a bad movie this is what happened to me for like a couple of months I felt I was like trapped in an horror movie <laughs> it's like uh, I'm, uh, thank God I'm, I'm, I'm coming out of it you know as I'm not still out of it it's like when uh, I have money on my account, I'll be out of it, but for now I'm still not out of it, but um, but it's coming soon, the Spirit is telling me that um, all will be well. So, But when you look at the media, the politics, or even the other people in the world, you, you, will, you see that uh, they, they are not serving, the, the, it's like, uh, it's all about division and fear and, and, and ego uh, process, so, so it's very important to stay well for, grounded into your inner self, for the internal process is almost at its end, uh, it's ending, um, and so, um, but the earth, the earth is, uh, has, has to face a very powerful dilemma, the earth is a, is a real person, she's an, like an archangelic consciousness that but she doesn't have um, all she, she has certain power but not all the power and uh, and so because she wants to she wants to protect in the same time she needs to she needs to activate all kinds of natural events and catastrophes what we call catastrophes um, but uh, in order to awaken humanity but she wants to preserve all of the light workers all those who have love and kindness will move on with her into the fifth dimensional the fifth density uh, and, and get rid of all the others because she doesn't want any more of that abuse and, and, and all those, those, those war games and so on. Uh, and so, uh, but she doesn't have the, qual the, the qualification to actually do that, to, to move, to, 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 so she's relying to work with the company of heaven, all the spirits that are surrounding this process because they can make those determinations, who, who is qualified, who is not, and, and, and where to move everybody so that everything will be in place for the, for, for, for the, the, the grand events that are going to be coming and so uh, um and so, uh, for it, it's all we always have to readjust our consciousness to retune our consciousness to 5D to, to the total joy and acceptance, and uh, because the, our consciousness will have a tendency to move back into this, this illusion world. So, it is important to learn to do that many, many times a day to readjust the frequency and utilize the heart chakra to clear, clear up all the memories and blockages from all the chakras to move into this quantum field where we can move from dimension to dimension and continue to purify yourself and uh, not to worry about all the tyrannies that may be going on in the world and it is a sign that so this society is breaking down it is dematerializing it is self-destructing and, and there is so much that is being done behind the scene you won't see that on tv but that that, that is to prepare the new age everything will be ready yeah? the, the spirits and all kinds of there is all kinds of things that have been that we do not see but will be there when we need it so do not worry about that it's just let go of this old uh, do not be attached to the um, to the dualistic uh, apocalypse that is going on uh, the galactic are watching the supervising the process um, and, uh, and and it's good to have compassion for people because they are slaves of that matrix the matrix is like in the movie matrix someone who's not has been delivered from the matrix can be an agent of the matrix so it is it is um, you have to have compassion and forgiveness huh? um, they are just just other you at other level and of consciousness and so uh, for we are all one and very soon uh, much will be coming to the, the forefront of consciousness, yet we want to be prepared. The highest wisdom for us today is fighting, for we, there are times where we need to fight against certain, against ourselves, but there are times where we need to drop the shield as well. So it's about, it's also about the sudden change, it's about uh, uh, the coming of intuition, letting go of all the, um, all the um, limited beliefs and, and habits and so on. Um, what we need to understand is let go of the miser, this miser, we want, it, we want, it, we want him out, we want him out, the miser is the, the, the lack, is um, he was seek to protect his treasures it was like so uh, so so we, uh, we we want to be in abundance and sharing uh, it's very important so we want to understand how to let go of that that need that sense of security that uh, 
it's, it's very delicate to trust uh, to trust God and to um, but um, but this miser I was asking this morning God to let go of the miser I'm tired of, of having to, to deal with that miser what we need to do is projection for we cannot know exactly what is going on but we already have certain ideas of, of, of what is to come and so we want, we already want to prepare ourselves as best as we can yet much is still hidden uh, for, for good reasons but uh, and projections are only projections they're on the, 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 we do not want to project too much because we may be disappointed because sometimes we project something in time and space and it is in another time in another space or with someone else or the, all kinds of things that can be possible so we do not want to project too much but we already want to tune in to the frequency of what we feel it may be coming for us with, uh, on, on terms of our highest vision. And the outcome is conditioning, it is deconditioning, it is letting go of this, this ship mentality, the, 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 to be a follower, you want to be a leader, you want to regain your power, you want to be the lion, and so once you will find this power of God within, once we have that, find this power of God within us, we'll, we'll be unstoppable. <laughs> and so so um, well, I hope this message was interesting for you, I'm going to finish with a song and pull one more card. It's a, it's a song to Ruby Tuesday. For some reason, Tuesday has been very important. It's been coming Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday for years. Spirit has been talking to me about Tuesday. Well, it's, uh, I'm, I live in an eternal Tuesday now. So it goes like this. She would never say where she came from. Yesterday don't matter if it's gone. While the sun is bright Or oh, in the darkest night No one knows She comes and goes Goodbye Ruby Tuesday Who could hang a name on you <clears throat> When you change with every new day Still I'm gonna miss you don't question why she needs to be so free She'll tell you it's the only way to be She just can't be chained To a life where nothing's gained Or nothing's lost At such a cost Goodbye, Ruby Tuesday, who could hang a name on you? When you change with every new day, still I'm gonna miss you. There's no time to lose, I heard her say. Catch your dreams before they slip away. Dying all the time Lose your dreams and you will lose your mind And life and kind Goodbye Ruby Tuesday Who could hang a name on you When you change with every new day Still I'm gonna miss you Goodbye, Ruby Tuesday, who could hang a name on you when you change with every new day? Still, I'm gonna miss you. Great song of the Rolling Stones. And so, I'm gonna pull one more card. In, in the French video, it was going in circle, like going in circle. Here we have the, the, the Treasure Island, so it's far more positive. It's Treasure Island, it's, it's very much about finding those treasures and the treasures the, the universe is, is about to give. And so there's going to be much, much, uh, much to be discovered. It is this, this treasure chest and she's, she's on, the, on the back of a turtle. Right? It's coming, but it's coming at, on, the, on the back of a turtle. So we have to be patient, we have to learn patience. Patience is, is the most essential in, the, in our whole super universe. It is, it is the key word of our whole super universe. So it's, so it's a very big uh, philosophical stand to say that uh, to ascend we need to wait and while we wait we ascend well i wish you a wonderful day i thank you very much for very much for for everything and i'll talk to you later namaste